Welcome to part two of our Cookie Clicker app. In this video, we're going to give this uh, app a little bit of a layout, a little bit of design, add an image to the Click Me button, and maybe just fix up this bug that's in the code. So let's get started. Now, the first thing we're going to do is put an image on uh, the button. And you can see on the side here, I've actually put two images in. I've got one of a bird and one of a mountain. And all I did is I found them off the internet. I dragged and dropped them into my project here. Um, I'll do it again. You can see if I just drag the image and drop it in, it'll come in. So with those images already imported, we're now going to add them to our project. Now the first one's that bird, and that's a very big image. As you can see, it's quite large. So that's going to be a little tricky to get in, but let's give it a shot. So I click on my button, and over here it says default image, and it says image there. If I click that, I can choose what I want. And if I click bird, it is going to be massive. So let's see. If I click on here, click on my, there we go, click on my image. Should we have to drag the corners down? Oh, let's click it again. Drag, there we go. Drag the corners down just a bit. Much better, I'm gonna zoom in on that. And get him set up somewhere in the middle. Okay, there we go, so he's in. Now the next thing I wanna do is get a background and you can see I've already typed in here image for my image view. I'm gonna drag that and put it just at the bottom for now. Uh, with this one selected, I go up to image at the top, click that and then go to mountain, which is my image there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this a little bigger and you'll see at, just for the minute, it's gonna go over the front of everything, which I don't necessarily want. So what I do is I select it which I can do over here, select it. I go up to editor, I go arrange, oh, select it again, editor, arrange, center back. There we go. Now he's gone to the back. I think I'm going to just give myself a bit of room here. Make this image a bit bigger. Hmm. It's not too important where it all goes, I guess. Okay, that'll do. All right, so now we've got it looking a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna give myself a title now. I'm just gonna call it a bird clicker. I'm gonna drag that across a little bit. Center it and give it a nice new font. I need to be custom. Where's custom? There. Top. I'm just going to pick a random one. That'll, mm, yeah, that'll do. Cool. That's done. And now I probably should make all of the font that font, but that'll take too long. So we've got our font, we've got our bird. I don't like these buttons. They don't look too good in that color. So I can actually change the text color here. I think I'm gonna make them all um, orange and just so they stand out a little bit, I might also bold them. orange and orange what's heavy oh heavy is even better what about black yeah, it stands out quite a bit now Okay, now the only thing I'm worried about with that output message here is that you're not going to be able to see it through that font. So I might make that as well. I might make it orange too. And make it heavy. Just so a user can definitely read it. 
Okay, cool. So that should be all of our app looking cool and running. Uh, I just want to fix up that bit of code now. So it was if the multiplier is 8, the user can still click 2 and 4. So what I'm going to say is uh, in here, okay, if click is greater than 100 and and malt is equal to 1, And normally I like double bracketing everything here. Let's see if I get an error with that. So and, and. That's equal, equal. All right, so now if it is, it's gonna do the upgrade. If not, it's gonna say error. I'm just going to change our error message to um, you don't seem to have the clicks for that. Yeah, that's right. We, we should make it something better like um, a different error message comes up, but I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it into all of them. All I'm going to do is change that to that and this time multiply needs to be equal to 2 for 4 times to work. So I need 2 ifs in there. And this one down here, oops, get rid of that if. This one's the 10,000 one, and multiply here should be on four for that one to work. Um, let's go ahead and try it out. Still got my click set very high. So you can see as I click him, they go up. Cool, I've got my upgrade. What if I click it again? Ha, ah, you don't have to click to that. Uh, let's go four times, keep clicking. If I click him now, you don't have to click to that. You don't have to click to that. If I click the eight times, takes them all. If anything, it seems to be lagging a little bit now. But it all is working. And you can see these buttons are working now too. So cool, that'll be the end of uh, Cookie Clicker or Bird Clicker in my case video. Um, make sure you get all of that going. Feel free to use different backgrounds. You don't have to use the same as mine. And probably make these fonts up here look a little different too. I don't, I don't particularly like that layout just there. So best of luck with it and I'll see you in the next video.